Hey everyone. All right, so we have one more video this week and I don't know if you can see, I don't know the crop. Um, unfortunately, my camera doesn't have a screen that I can really see myself in. Um, my table here is covered in these surprise balls and we have three different types that our friends at Zuru sent us. Now, they have sent us five of each and I don't even remember saying to send these. Um, not that this is a problem. These are great stocking stuffers, so they fit perfect for what we're looking for and looking to try to do for this holiday season. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open up one of each of these and the rest of them I'm going to donate. And the reason for that is the kids in my family are very, very lucky. Part of it's the job I do. We get to give them toys all the time, all year round. Another is this is a whole ton of little tiny toys all over the house. So what I'm gonna do is make sure that these get to kids in need and then, you know, they can enjoy these for the holiday season. So each one of these, I believe is $9.99. There are five toys in each thing, there are five surprises in each thing, and they each open up like a petal. So I'm going to get a bunch of these balls off of my table and then we're gonna open up one of each. We have the five surprise mini brands, we have the five surprise dino strike, which you unbox and then battle. And then we have the five surprise unicorn squad. Now this is all the unicorn fun. This is unbox a magical unicorn. Hopefully it's more than one unicorn in here. But we're gonna find out. I'm gonna set these aside, get these balls off of my table, which I cannot say with a straight face because I'm always gonna be like an eight year old. And then, oh goodness, then, like I said, these are gonna be donated because I'd much rather other kids get a lot of toys and fun this year. And we'd much rather give back to our local community. So that means if there's 15 of these, we're gonna donate at least 10 of these. So thank you Zuru for sending these and making sure that kids in our community are gonna have a lot of fun toys this year. So we're going to do, like I said, one of each. Now, again, what I want to do is make sure that you guys know that this is what your kids are gonna get. Um, these are for ages three and up, and that's because they do have small little pieces in them. We have done a whole video on the past, or in the past, on these mini shopping brands. Um, they do have this little zipper pull on the side. We're gonna do first. Now, I will tell you, my cats are gonna come up here and probably try to play and eat the stuff because they like trying to eat plastic despite my best efforts. Now, the there should be a pull somewhere on this layer of plastic. There it is. Then you do another pull. We're gonna undo this. Now, I think that last video when I did these, it took me a long time to figure out how to do that. These are made for kids. But obviously, this is just showing you what you're gonna have to do with your kids. So when you pull this little plug on the end, this will open up and you have these five little capsules and each one of them has a goodie surprise inside. So I will link to the video where we did just all five surprise toys. Um, and then you can see the different options. All of them come with some sort of accessory, a shopping cart or something to, you know, your kids can play with. What I loved about these, I mean, these are great if you do dollhouses or you like little scale models. This label's a little wonky, but they have actual little labels on them. So this is a little thing of bacon, black label, real, real bacon crumbles from Hormel. And it actually puts the nutrition facts on there, the barcode, everything. So I think they're really kind of neat if you want, if your kids want to play um, house or their dolls or their action figures want to go shopping. Um, they're slightly too big for certain scale dolls, but um, we have a little tiny bottle of Suave. Now I'm not gonna assemble anything that requires assembly. Ooh, now this makes me hungry. We have a little cold stone shake. How cute is that? All right, I don't wanna just, I don't wanna build too much. So and I think that's what this one is. Nope, this one is a box of Dove soap. And then we have these super rare, there's gold ones. If you can find any gold ones, they are super rares. And then last but not least should be the accessory piece. So I like that they come with the accessories. It gives them, no, we don't have an accessory piece in this one. Makes me a liar. We have a little one of Kikomin soy sauce. So we have actually some of this in the fridge right now. 
Um, yeah, I think that one's actually in the fridge. They're gluten free. So this one just comes with five little tiny groceries and items that your your parents or you as parents might find at the store. Um, I don't know what store has Cold Stone little shakes in it, but our stores need to take note. We need that. So we're gonna do unicorns next. So it should be the same procedure. Now this is probably the hardest part if you get these for younger kids. Um, I'm gonna tell you I suck at these. So these pull thingies, I really, I suck at them. Um, I'm also really bad at zip top bags. So if anybody has a solution for them, let me know. I just fail at that even as an adult and I don't know why, but at least I'm aware. So, there we go. That layer is off. We have this other layer here that we need to do. Almost. I did so much better on the first one. So again, just pull this little plug at the top, pull that out. And now we open it up and we have this unicorn guide that popped right into the center. And this is actually only in four pieces. Now I think our friend Scarlett helped us in the past. Um, we had some unicorn surprises. I believe we have a whole video on these too. So I will make sure that I link to that for you guys. Um, the first, the bigger capsule, we have a unicorn. Um, nice glittery horn there. Uh, the back of its head's a little weird, but once you put its hair on, supposedly, I don't know how we quite do that. There we go. You gotta fit it over her horn and over her ears, and now she's got some nice rocking ombre hair. I like her hair. I think I've done that with mine in the past. Almost close to mine. Now we do have in here, we have some glittery stickers and a little brush for her hair. What about this one? Oh yes, we have done these before. A thing of rainbow slime, or unicorn slime I guess it is. And then this last one here is, ooh, now for our site, that is perfect. She comes with accessories and ours comes with a mermaid tail. You guys have all seen our mermaid video, I'm pretty sure, but you can make her into a nice mermaid. Uh, were there more accessories in there or did I just totally blink when I saw the mermaid tail? Oh, she does have a couple other things. Ooh. She has some nice little hair clippy thing that goes right here. Goes right into this little hole if I can get it in there. And it looks like she has a shell in her hair. There we go. And then we have these cute little bracelets from her for her front legs that match the necklace that she's already wearing. So these little pieces are the reason that these are for ages three and up. Not that your kids won't love these, but they may not have the skills to open these containers um, if they're younger than three, and they may need some assistance. And then these little pieces are potential choke hazards. So keep that in mind. But she is super adorable. Um, and I love that it's a little mermaid. And it's like I said, that's absolutely perfect for our channel. So what she's going to probably do is she's probably going to hang around here in the house because she's a doll. So that's what's going to be in your unicorn surprise ones. Now we're going to go into these dino strike ones. Now, I don't know why it's unbox and battle. We're going to find out. Um, as a kid, I would have loved this just as much as I would have loved the unicorn one. So you may have a little boy or girl that loves unicorns. And you may have a little boy or girl that loves dinosaurs. Um, I've seen some studies they've posted on Facebook recently. There's studies that, you know, there's higher intelligence for kids that love dinosaurs. Now, I don't know any kid that doesn't love dinosaurs, but that's, you know, that's neither here nor there. So that one actually opened pretty easy. I don't know why the unicorn was a little harder. So this one, we're back to the five surprises. We already have the brushes and the stickers for the other stuff. We have all the other little toys. Okay, so the first one I opened up, I have legs and armor. I have a front leg and a back leg. So I'm guessing this one requires a little more building skills. Um, 
We have a flamethrower for our dinosaur. But this comes in and it's got this little trigger and I'm gonna to try to catch it. That didn't work very well. So that's over there, that's now a cat toy. But it does have a little flamethrower, so that's fun. Um, let's see what else we have. Oh, we have another leg. Another two legs. You guys, I'm feeling bad for this dinosaur. He's all in pieces, or she's all in pieces. We have a head and a tail. Uh, looks like we're getting a stegosaurus. And then we have the body. Oh, and we get the... This is an Ankylosaurus. We have instructions on how to assemble them. So there are 13 different ones. I think this is an Ankylosaurus. Um, Plesiosaurus. Plesiosaurus? I don't know how to say that. Tyrannosaurus. Tyrannosaurus skeleton. Spinosaurus skeleton. Triceratops skeleton. There's a bunch of different dinos that do this fight. All right. So we're gonna try this and I'm going to assemble this poor dinosaur. Now I like the concept that it, you know, it comes with accessories or whatever. I don't really like the concept that you have to build the dinosaur. Um, not that you shouldn't, but you know, I think that maybe this is gonna be, it's gonna take a little bit of work to get kids to do this that they have to build their toys um all right so I think this is the front right I'm only half looking at these instructions so it goes together it does take a little bit of force you got to get the things on here right um is that right Maybe. Yeah, those little back legs. All right, let's try it. So I'm having a slight problem. I have to shove these pieces on. So your kids are going to need help with this. Just keep that in mind when you do this, all right? This is fun. It's cute. They love dinosaurs. You know, little boys are not going to have a problem. Little girls are not going to have a problem. You know, once they're dinosaurs put together. I don't like so much that this one has... You, like, the unicorn has pieces that, you know, they're accessories. This one, all your surprises are body parts. Why why can't they have accessories with their dinosaurs? Like, the one is the gun and the flamethrower with the flame that's gone somewhere into oblivion. Um, can't get the flags on. I don't like that. Um, it could be just me. I mean, kids aren't going to want to spend a ton of time shoving the head onto their dinosaur. I mean, I don't know, maybe they will. Maybe I could be wrong in this, but I'm just thinking it's kind of a raw deal compared to the other ones. And I still don't understand why you gotta have battle dinosaurs. Dinosaurs kind of battle to live anyhow, but whatever. Um, I just wanna get this put together for you guys. It's taking a little longer than I expected here. And his legs keep falling off the back. All right, hold on. That's one. All right, let's try this back one one more time. And then I got to get his armor on. And we can mount his gun. And if I can find it, I will put his flame back in there. Now, the problem with the flame, other than it shot across the room, um, it's currently in the pile of Christmas presents that I need to wrap. So, all right. You guys... You shouldn't have to put your toys together like that. You shouldn't have to shove all the pieces and all the body parts together. And again, I'm not loving the fact that that's the accessories are the body parts because he should just have body parts. He should be put together. If he doesn't fit in there, make a bigger egg and then give him something cool. Give him something, give him something to work with here. All right, which way does this stinking thing go? I put it out oh, that goes the other way uh, this is supposed to get onto his back somehow all right and then you just put this on top all right 
So that took entirely too long to put together. The other ones, like I said, this was super cute, a little hard to put their hair on, but she came with accessories. This one seems like a pain in the butt. And, you know, as he walks, as he moves, it's great. We have these limbs that kind of go back and forth. But why do you have to actually, why are your accessories body parts? I'm not a huge fan of these ones. You could tell me I'm wrong. Your kids might like it. Um, I'm going to have to find the flame somewhere. But, I mean, they're cute. If your kids like building things and they like a bit of a project, it may not be a problem. But for me, I don't like that at all. Um, granted, I'm not exactly their market. However, as parents, you are. And you're going to be the one who's going to be getting this for your kids. Well, I guess his head moves when you wiggle his tail. Um, you're going to be getting this for your kids. And you're going to want to have, you know, they're going to want their toys. And yes, it's fun that they get to unbox toys. And they get to pull things apart. And they get to, you know, examine and all that. But this one doesn't make sense to me. They're not going to want to build all of these dinos. They're not going to want to, you know, why, again, why does it have to be a battle dinosaur? So, of the three things, this is my least favorite, and I do like dinosaurs, so I really don't understand this one. Um, he's kind of cool once he's assembled, but you saw how long it took me to assemble. If you're interested in any of these toys, I will put links below. There's plenty of time to get these before the holiday. Obviously, um, there's, there's some are better than others. Let's put it that, that simply. But it depends on what your kid's interested in. So that's it for today, you guys. I'll have links for these as well as a link to our full review of these below. Um, if you're interested, as always, the links are there. And we will see you guys soon with some other really great content. So I'll see you then. Bye.